Aww, pretty darn cute, right? Certain animals simply radiate an irresistible charm that is infectiously adorable, particularly in their baby days. And today, we're heading to the pet store to see which ones we can unexpectedly take home. From bizarre little creatures that don't look real, to bat buddies and baby panda imposters, it's time to meet some of the cutest baby animals you can legally own. Poke Pets The dream of kids and adults the world over, just about everyone has fantasized about owning their very own Pokemon. But that's all just make-believe, right? You probably assumed that Wooper, for example, was dreamt up to look like some kind of fantastical baby alien. But in fact, he was based on a very real animal that you can legally own as a pet. Say hello to the itty-bitty axolotl, Wooper's real-life counterpart. Part of the salamander family, axolotls are very rare and unique amphibians that can only be found in the swampy remnants of Lake Xochimilco in Mexico City. While usually rare creatures like this are highly protected, the axolotl has increased through their popularity in the pet trade. But what really makes these amphibians unique is that you never have to let go of their baby-faced looks. Unlike other salamanders who mature in a process called metamorphosis, axolotls are born with a condition called neoteny. This means they're able to retain their larval juvenile appearance even as adults, so they look like babies for the rest of their lives. Permanent cuteness syndrome? I've certainly heard of worse genetic quirks. But the Poke Pets don't stop there. If you're looking for a real-life Pokemon of the fluffier persuasion, let me introduce you to your new best friend. If you thought regular cartoon foxes like this one created by Malaysian artist Yi Chong were cute, meet the ultimate evolution of fox cuteness, the real-life inspiration for the Pokemon Fennekin, the Fennec Fox. With ears that can grow to be almost twice the width of their bodies, Fennec Foxes can be found in northern African deserts like the Sahara. It is legal to own a fennec fox as a pet in many parts of the world, so if you want one of these little bundles of joy in your life, you don't even have to catch them all. Just head on down to a trusted breeder. Just make sure they have plenty of space to run around and explore, as these guys are super energetic and curious, and may misbehave if you let them get bored. While the Poke Perfect Axolotl and fennec fox are cute and all, I know what you're thinking. Is there a way to own a real-life Pikachu? Regrettably, we're still way off from having the technology to spawn a fully charged Pika just yet. However, some Poke fans have gone above and beyond to own their very own Pika with some canine assistance. And stay tuned to see an even more Pikachu-like animal coming up later. Rockabye Raccoons with sparkling eyes, fluffy fur, and lovable little masked faces, there's no doubt that raccoons are some of the cutest trash goblins the world has to offer. These little bandits are highly intelligent, curious animals, and although they are wild animals, they tend to form strong bonds with their humans if they are raised from a young age. Interestingly enough, there's a scientific reason that large, expressive eyes, like those of a baby raccoon, induce that all-too-familiar, aww, effect for us humans. Known as baby schema features, scientists have identified a few key characteristics that are kryptonite for our cute radar, a neurological response which humans are theorized to have evolved to make us more inclined to feel an urge to care for our own offspring. These human baby typical features include disproportionately large heads, chubby cheeks, small noses, softness, and large eyes. And much like a human baby, you can bet all of these features are found on a little baby trash bandit. Still, if you're thinking about letting a wild raccoon into your home, it's worth thinking about what their natural behavior is like in the outdoors. These masked bandits are omnivorous scavengers, meaning their entire souls urge them to go looking for food in the strangest of places, and they will stop at nothing to get it. And because they're nocturnal, most of their scavenging will be done at night. 
But even if you don't mind an adorable rascal raiding through your pantry while you're trying to catch some Zs, unfortunately, they're only legal to own as a pet in 16 U.S. states, including Florida, New Jersey, and Tennessee, and are illegal for private individuals across the EU and UK. If you really want to adopt a wild urban animal, though, why not start with something a little less detrimental to your precious shut-eye? Fox squirrel cubs are often kept as pets and can make for an adorable raccoon alternative, tending to be legal to own in a higher number of places. Each squirrel needs to have their own decked-out cages complete with ladders and shelves to mimic their woodland habitat, as well as a relatively simple diet of acorns, fruits, and nuts. So, while your little squirrel chomps away on his nuts, you can go nuts over just how cute the little guy is. I'll see myself out. Sleepy Sloths Most of us are familiar with sloths as slow-moving giants who spend their lives being lazy. But I'll bet you never realized just how cute these little lazies are as babies with their slow, gentle movements, sleepy expressions, and soft, fuzzy fur. Sloths are incredibly cuddly creatures, which might make you think they'd make for a great pet. While it is legal to own a sloth in quite a few places, including New York, Texas, and Nevada, it's not recommended. Despite their easygoing and snuggly appearance, keeping a sloth happy and healthy is anything but simple. Not only are sloths wild animals, but they're solitary ones as well, and much prefer to be left alone. Research suggests they don't really enjoy human contact, so you'll have to leave your daydreams of snuggling with a sloth at the door, unless you want to incur the wrath of those claws. Not only that, but there are only about 1,500 sloths left in the wild. The capture of individual sloths for the pet trade reduces the population left to naturally reproduce in the wild where they belong. So while it's not impossible to own a pet sloth, if you love those little clawed rascals as much as I do, you're better off letting them roam free, very, very slowly. Bats off to you. While often associated with spooky season, bats aren't exactly the first thing you think of when you picture an adorable pet. However, when you take a look at what these sky puppies look like as babies, it becomes immediately clear just how cute they really are. While there are very strict laws regarding interacting with and keeping bats in the USA and most other countries, especially without a license, in the US it is legal to own certain captive bred species of fruit bats in certain states, like Oregon. These furry friends like lots of love and attention. But like many other wild animals, bats can never truly be tamed. In fact, bats really don't like being kept as pets and will try to escape if they get the chance, as their instinct is to fly far and wide by cover of darkness, which also keeps their strength up. While definitely lovable, I think it's better that we let these little pretties fly free and pop in for a flying visit every Halloween. For the rest of the year, how about settling for this amazingly cute albino bat doll crafted by sculptor Anna Yastrevzhembovska? It'd certainly be a wise move versus owning a real bat, largely due to one last factoid I haven't told you yet. You see, unfortunately, bats are known to bathe themselves in urine and constantly emit musk from their scent glands. This creates a pretty extreme stench, so if you're batty about bats and still want one of your own, prepare to embrace the stank. Joey Joy the most well-known of Australia's wildlife, the iconic kangaroo, is one of the most unique and captivating creatures on Earth. And, you guessed it, as babies, they're oh so very cute. While you might think something as small and innocent-looking as this would be no problem to care for as a pet, think again. In the wild, a joey will stay in its mama's pouch for up to 11 months after birth. As a pet, it will have a very hard time developing outside of its mother's pouch, so it's important to replicate the pouch conditions as closely as possible. Joeys will also need to be diapered and bottle-fed, just like a real baby. And if you had one of those, you'll know it's not all sunshine and rainbows. 
According to the law, you can technically own a joey with a permit in a number of U.S. states, including New Jersey, Texas, and Washington, and in the Australian state of Victoria. But given that fully grown kangaroos can be up to 6 foot 7 inches tall and kick and bite when under stress, I'm not sure they're screaming perfect pet to me. As pets, many kangaroos sadly don't survive beyond their joey form due to a lack of space and social interaction, as well as being highly vulnerable to a number of diseases. Thankfully, some end up in sanctuaries with experts that can provide the proper care they need. Although most folks will struggle keeping joeys as pets, there are still ways to interact with these beautiful creatures responsibly in zoos, wildlife sanctuaries, and if you're really dedicated, in the Australian outback. Well, you're probably thinking there's no alternative to such a unique animal, and turns out there is one cutie pie out there that shares the appearance of a baby kanga, but doesn't grow into such a large beast. A species of rodent, the spring hare, not only looks like a miniature kanga, but it can make for a great pet too. Seeing as spring hares struggle in low temperatures, it's recommended you keep them indoors. However, be warned, these are a rodent species, and those buck teeth will quickly make their way through electrical wires and your furniture if you don't watch it. Then you'll have a real Pikachu on your hands, albeit for a very short time. Tiny Turtles Turtles come in many shapes and sizes, but they all have one thing in common. Turtle hatchlings beguile animal lovers the world over. One of the most unique turtle hatchings out there is the Eastern Painted Turtle, a baby so ornate you might confuse it with a mini ornament. While not much larger than a quarter as a newborn hatchling, Eastern Painted Turtles remain teeny tiny even as they grow. While it's very tempting to grab shell, dude, especially when the shell is this cute, it's usually better to let baby turtles mature a little before adopting them as pets. Turtles and other reptiles carry salmonella bacteria, which can easily be transmitted to people. While a teeny turtle may seem harmless, the salmonella risk has found to be substantially higher in the tinier of turtle species. So, it's been illegal to sell turtles with shells less than 4 inches long since 1975 in the USA. If you're still tempted to take on a baby turtle, just know that the salmonella risk should ideally take snuggles and kisses off the table. And even though smaller turtles and tortoises often stay small, they still have a full-size turtle's legendary longevity, with some species living for over 50 years. So it's in the turtle's best interest for you to stick around and avoid dying of salmonella. Pygmy Kraken if we've learnt anything so far, it's that tiny most certainly equals cute. And this next pet is the teeniest and tiniest of all. Also known as the dwarf octopus, the Atlantic pygmy octopus is one of the tiniest species of octopus known to man. Growing to a maximum of just 2 inches even in maturity, thanks to its minuscule size, this little pygmy has become a popular addition to home aquariums across the world. Like all species of octopus, pygmy octopuses are highly intelligent animals, as well as masters of camouflage that have evolved an array of hiding tricks. Thanks to its small size, the pygmy octopus is a master of concealing itself. So owners are set for hours of uninterrupted hide-and-go-seek fun. Even though most octopus prefer to live alone, pygmy octopuses are one of the more social species, particularly with other pygmy pals. So, if your apartment is on the smaller side, a baby Atlantic pygmy octopus that never grows could be the ideal pet for you. And why not get a load of tiny furniture and appliances while you're at it, to complete the illusion that your tiny apartment is actually huge. Dwarf Bunnies With their soft, fluffy fur, large, alluring eyes, twitching noses, and endearing hops. Bunny rabbits are pretty darn adorable. But did you know there's one rare species that's even cuter than the rest? Yep, those eyes really are that big. And let me introduce you to the dwarf hot tot bunny rabbit. Small bunny breeds like the dwarf hot tot were specifically bred to be miniature, and in their early years they're nothing short of a real-life beanie baby. 
This breed is characterized by the thick black ring around their eyes, which grows more prominent as they get older, making their peepers appear even bigger than they already are. Dwarf Hot Tots grow to no more than 3 pounds in weight, and as a baby, they love being sociable with their owners. Even better is that this breed is less active than other rabbits, so endless snuggles on the sofa are definitely on the menu. Dwarf Hot Tots are also independent little spirits who will happily entertain themselves with toys while you're busy around the house. Not that you'll want to spend a second away from these precious little hoppers. While baby dwarf hot tots are some of the most unique species of rabbit out there, more common species can be just as adorable. If you don't believe me, just ask this little guy's new mom, who adopted a little rabbit here thanks to her strong maternal instincts, which crossed species boundaries. I guess a mom's a mom. Wild Kitties while it's easy to see why dogs are known as man's best friend, it's no secret that humans are obsessed with kittens. And really, who can blame us? <laughs> yeah, gentle hands. Oh, gentle, gentle. Oh. <laughs> this kitten cat. Gentle hands. Oh. Oh, gentle, good. Yeah. Gentle, all. <laughs> gentle hands. Us humans have owned pet cats for more than 10,000 years, but in the quest to find the cutest possible kitten, some people are turning to extremes. I'm talking tiger babies. While ridiculously cute as little cubs, it's easy to forget that these furballs will grow up to be the truly terrifying lords of the jungle. Newborn tigers come into this world completely blind and weighing up to just 3.5 pounds, so it's easy to see why you'd be tempted to take one home. But how possible is it to really own one of these fluffy babies in the eyes of the law? Surprisingly enough, it is legal to own a baby big cat in many places around the world, including the UK, Ireland, and some U.S. states, though most of these places require owners to possess a dangerous wild animal license. While 35 states have banned big cats as pets, Texas, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, and more allow its citizens to own exotic pets as long as they get a permit. But if Tiger King taught us anything, it's that tigers do not make good pets. Fully grown tigers can weigh as much as 660 pounds, and can eat as much as 80 pounds of raw meat in a single meal. Okay. Well, what about these smaller angelic little jaguar cubs? Well, while their fully grown equivalent is almost half the size of a tiger, jaguars have the strongest bite force of all big cats, which means that even a playful nibble could cost you dearly. While the appeal of curling up with these little fluff balls is undeniable, I think it's better to let these babies roam free. But if you really just can't get wild kitties off your brain, there are plenty of exotic-looking house cats to choose from. What about this perfect Persian kitten? Or why not go all out with one of these cute-as-a-button Bengal kittens? Maximum adorability minus the apex predator fatality threat. Sweetie Snakes Ophidiophobia, or the fear of snakes, is one of the most common phobias in the world. But even the biggest ophidiophobe would have a hard time hating on a little slitherer like this. Now, admittedly, this particular little guy is just an artistic rendition of a reptile. But contrary to their fearsome reputation, there are plenty of snake species out there that make for some pretty adorable pets. A real-life counterpart to this little guy, for example, is the baby golden tree snake. This googly-eyed little fella is only mildly venomous to its prey, but completely safe to humans, and completely legal to own. Even cuter than the googly-eyed baby golden tree snake is the utterly adorable little hognose. So named for their upturned piggy-like snout, hognoses are a group of snake species that can be found from the USA and Mexico, all the way down to Madagascar. The hognose is one of the smaller snakes out there, rarely growing beyond two feet in length. They're a popular choice for pets, 
as they tend to be on the docile side and rarely turn aggressive. And best of all, these little hogs love nothing more than wrapping themselves around owner's fingers for the most wholesome cold-blooded cuddle I've ever seen. Talk about putting a ring on it. Oh dear. While well, arguably watching Bambi as a kid was beyond traumatizing, I think we can all agree that a baby deer would make for just about the cutest pet imaginable. But is it really possible? While many species of deer are considered wild animals and are not allowed to be kept as pets throughout much of the world, there are some places that allow pet deer, including Colorado, Ohio, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Growing to just about the size of a medium-sized dog, muntjac deer are one of the most popular choices for a pet deer and is one of a small few species of deer that can actually be house-trained. Muntjacs can even be trained to walk on a leash and are very affectionate companions. Just look at this little fella. Only way this little dude could be any better would be if he had a soft, monkey-like body, paws, and fluffy tail like this adorable little plushie made by Centennial Toys. Mm. I wonder if I could ask for a DNA splicing kit for Christmas this year. I know what the first hybrid I'm creating is going to be. Little Lambs while we all know that Mary had a little lamb, it turns out that any Tom, Dick, and Harry can too. Armed with ultra-fluffiness and adorable personalities, while they're mostly known as farm animals, lambs can make surprisingly great pets. While you might think you could only get a lamb this adorable in the form of cartoons and dolls, miniature lambs are a very real, popular pet of choice. Characterized by their tiny size, some breeds, like the Oescent, only grow to around 18 inches tall. Many sheep thrive on small plots of land, so a large yard would suffice for these little cuties. They'll even thank you too, and make for great natural lawnmowers for your yard. Even better is that if you nurse lambs from birth, they tend to think of you as their mom, which creates a bond that can last a lifetime. Sheep are social animals, and their instinct is to form herds with their own kind so it's generally advised to have more than just one, which, if you ask me, is just fine. Opossumbly Adorable Ah, yes, the humble opossum. I call the big one bitey. While they may possess a pretty fearsome mouth and set of chompers, opossum's curious, endearing natures radiate an unconventional cuteness that is sure to captivate animal lovers everywhere. Not to be confused with possums, which come from Australia, New Zealand, and China, and are illegal to own as pets. Opossums live in America and southern Canada, and are actually legal to own under some circumstances. While you need a permit to become the owner of a baby opossum like this one, a permit will typically only allow you to keep opossums for rehabilitation purposes, to later release them. If you happen to find an abandoned baby opossum, you may be allowed to keep it, but only until it's healthy enough to survive on its own. But if you ask me, it's kind of the best of both worlds. While wild animals are intended for the wild, it's nice to do our bit for the ones that need a little bit of extra help, just until they're ready to go back out where the wild things truly are. Illegal Switcheroos now, in a video about adorable baby animals, I'd be remiss not to discuss a few that aren't necessarily legally obtainable, but to keep true to the theme of the video, I've come up with some adorable alternatives you definitely can add to your fully legal real-life pet posse to fill the gap. First up, blessed with large, innocent eyes enhanced by black patches, along with a playful nature that could melt even the hardest heart, Many people all over the globe dream of having a baby panda for their very own pet. But while they might look like your dream monochrome teddy bear, looking after a baby panda is no mean feat. With razor-sharp claws evolved to slice bamboo into little pieces, you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of a baby panda, let alone a fully grown one. In reality, pandas aren't particularly social animals and don't even cuddle their own kind in the wild. What's more, every single giant panda in the world is owned by the Chinese government, who charge over a million dollars a year merely to rent one. 
So, if you really want a pet panda, you better get rich and get real friendly with the Chinese government. But some folks have a better idea. Panda-loving pet owners have taken to dyeing their dogs to look like real panda bears. And honestly, the results are a pretty amazing alternative. But if you'd rather your dog didn't grow to hate you, you can adopt a baby panda living in a sanctuary and get updates as it grows up. Honestly, though, I'm happy enough just settling down to enjoy a certain animated kung fu classic with a stuffed panda plushie, cuteness included. A similarly cute but tragically illegal creature of black and white coloration are baby seals. While wildlife protection laws pretty much everywhere keep baby seal pet ownership off the cards, there is another fluffy little fella that may fill the hole in your blubber-loving heart. Seeing as baby seals are known as pups, it should come as no surprise that the closest thing you can get is man's very own best friend. Dogs and seals both bark and often have similar facial structures, making for a pretty uncanny resemblance at times. It's no surprise, seals and dogs descend from a common ancestor from a suborder of carnivores called Caniformia and diverged about 50 million years ago, but the physical similarities remain to this day. This teacup Pomeranian puppy, for example, is a dead ringer for the adorable harp seal pup and is very legal to own all over the world. Like many dogs, Pomeranians love water, making them even more seal-like than you could have imagined. If you really want to go all out with your seal-puppy hybrid, you could even ask the groomer to step in and make all your perfectly rounded dreams come true. And if you ask me, this little guy seems pretty happy about it. Flipping adorable. Moving on to our next troublesome would-be pet takes us to Southeast Asia. This little fella is known as the Tarsier. Tarsiers are nocturnal hunters, which is why their eyes, which are bigger than their brains and stomachs, have evolved to these preposterous proportions to let in a maximum amount of light at night. Not only that, but they're one of the tiniest primates on Earth, each only growing to a maximum of 6 inches long in maturity. While their palm-sized perfection might make you think they'd make for a perfect pet, Tarsiers are illegal to own as pets. Not only are the vast majority of Tarsier subspecie population near threatened with extinction, but experts are also struggling to breed them in captivity. To make matters worse for prospective owners, these little cuties, surprisingly, produce venom from a gland in their arm, which when mixed with their saliva, can induce a serious allergic reaction if you're bitten. Primates like tarsiers, flying lemurs, and chimps are illegal to own in most parts of the U.S., although some smaller species, like bush babies, are legal to own with permits in parts of North Carolina, Florida, and Nevada. While primates will live their best lives in the wild, you can get the next best thing, minus all of the effort, via these utterly adorable tarsier replicas designed by Yulia Leonovich. Uh, BRB while I order a thousand. While many animals find their way into our homes because they're just so darn cute, for some, it's also about having something a little more exotic. Native to eastern Australia and Tasmania, the palatopus is about as exotic as you can get, being one of the strangest animals on Earth. What's more, they're incredibly cute as babies, or puggles as they're technically known. But there are a number of obstacles to having one to call your own. In the wild, palatopus feed on small invertebrates, as well as small fish from freshwater. To keep one alive as a pet, a constant stream of live prey and a sizable habitat would be required. But even if all this isn't enough to turn you off to the idea of a pet puggle, as an endangered species, it's globally illegal to own a palatopus. So, while there are an abundance of platypus dolls and sculptures to play make-believe with, your only hope of living alongside the real deal is to move to Australia and build an environment that might attract a wild one. Now, that doesn't mean you should give up your dream of having a real-life build buddy, though, but why not go for one of these adorable golden fluff balls instead? Ducklings make adorable pets, and you won't be breaking the law if you own one. Their little beaks, soft downy feathers, not to mention the adorable way they follow their moms around, put ducklings high up on many animal lovers' lists of potential pets and make for a perfect puggle substitute. 
And given that they can learn to follow you around if you raise them, it's only a matter of time before you have your own adorable duckling army. Then they'll see. Then they'll all see. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, which of these adorable animals did you find the cutest? Do you own any of these impossibly cute critters yourself? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.